So today we're going to take a look at um, our teacher review software for Galaxy Next Generation. This is um, part of the online learning platform that we uh, can provide on our interactive touch panel displays. Um, just a little housekeeping, uh, what you're seeing on the left hand side of the screen is the teacher view um, of the software and what you're seeing on the right hand screen is the student uh, view of the software. Um, I am playing both roles of teacher and student today, so um, I apologize for the repetitiveness of the uh, windows um, showing showing the webcam. So basically on the left hand side, I'm logged in um, to, a, to one of my classes. This is a math class. Um, my student is logged in to that same class. When I first launched it, it actually prompt the student to join and they just simply click join. Um, this can be done from any computer. As long as they have a Chrome or an internet browser, it supports Google and Microsoft. So whatever the student's um, credentials are, uh, they just have a simple one click to log in uh, button and they're in the class. Uh, the teacher has several options here, the first of which um, that was just on was to send a message. So you can group chat within the class. Um, I, as a teacher, can get the attention of the student at any time by just clicking the attention button. This is uh, very important when the student may or may not be in the classroom, leaves, gets off task, goes to another web address, I can quickly hit attention and it brings them back into the class itself. I can send a web link directly out to all my students. So you'll notice I typed it in the share website portion and it actually takes the student device to that website. Again, once we're through uh, on this web page and then I want everyone back into my class, I just simply click attention and everyone comes back to the same page. Lots of different options. Um, in terms of the student being able to digitally raise their hand, uh, the teacher being able to answer, address it, and then clear it. can also has a built-in digital whiteboard. So if I'm teaching in the class from my whiteboard, simply doing a math problem on the screen, of course the students in my class see it live, but this way through teacher view, the students at home also see it live. I can then give access to that student to respond from home. So if I click their name, it gives them the annotation tool, they respond. I can then take their annotation capability right back away. So I have full classroom management um, control from, from afar, whether they're in the, in the school building or at home learning. Uh, a couple other just whiteboarding features, shapes, uh, being able to import any images, uh, being able to bring in anything on the teacher's computer into the whiteboard platform itself. Uh, simply changing background colors, importing background images, uh, changing the pen tool colors and how I annotate, um, giving complete control back to a student. So if they wanted to um, ask a question or annotate themselves, they're doing that from their Chromebook, iPad, whatever the case may be, um, again, from where, where they're at in the learning environment, whether in school or at home. I'm just going to clear all on the whiteboard page. Um, go back out of the whiteboard section. This again takes me back to kind of my standard view as a teacher. I only have two students logged into this class. If I had 20 to 30 students, obviously you would see all of their thumbnails there. Uh, what's happening here is the student is trying to send a uh, document to their teacher. Fairly easy to do as well. All they did was hit the upload um, document from their cloud. Since this is connected with both Microsoft and Google, it just simply took them to the student's Google Drive, gives the teacher a notification that that document has been submitted by turning their thumbnail red. I can retrieve the document as the teacher very quickly. So uh, um, sharing uh, homework or classwork type assignments is done uh, directly through the teacher view software as well. We're not having to mix and mingle a bunch of software platforms um, into one. Lots of capabilities on being able to lock the student's computer, um, send policies out to the parents through the software. Uh, this session is just going to be stopped so you can kind of see what it's like for a teacher to switch into a different subject. So if we start a science class, um, here's a good example of where you can see that there's more than two students. This class has four students in it. Um, can share whatever screen I need to. So at any point uh, throughout kind of the lesson, I see as the teacher, the student, the student screen, and any information files, hands raised that they may 
have included. Um, from the student perspective, at any time they see me as the instructor, they also see my screen or my whiteboard, depending on what I'm sharing um, at that moment. So in, in summary, I guess uh, what Teacher View really does for, for us is as a instructor, I'm using one platform on my interactive flat panel in the classroom and teaching to those students at home as well. I'm not having to create two completely separate um, lessons for the students, uh, whether they're in the classroom or at home. So it's just a, a really uh, awesome way to, to bridge the continuity between um, how we're having to instruct in, in the hybrid learning environment that we found ourselves in. Uh, looking forward to putting out some additional videos on other products, so stay tuned to learn more about what Galaxy Next Generation Inc. can do for uh, the classrooms.